What is God's end game? After rolling up the universe in his right hand, destroying the vast, unexplored galaxies created for no purpose, after placing Muhammad and the righteous in paradise to enjoy an eternity of soft couches, green brocade, delicious fruit and beautiful women, after he, Most High, has cast Pharaoh, Abu Lahab, the wives of Noah and Lot, the people of Hud, Saleh, Shaib, and all the Kuffar into the fire to burn for all eternity. What then? Is that it? Is this the reason humanity was created? Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief, civilizations that came and went, billions of humans who struggled with the cards they were dealt, all the accumulated learning and human endeavours, achievements and tragedies, pain and sorrows, amount to nothing but believer and disbeliever? Eternal pleasure dome or eternal torture chamber? Was there no higher purpose than this? Virtues learned here in this life to no end but frivolities and pleasure-seeking in the next? No wise plan for the sinners apart from torture without end? All human experiences, all our odysseys throughout life's twisting roads lead to nothing but damned or saved, nightmarish horrors or adolescent fantasies? Is this God's ultimate triumph? The fawning adulation of Ahlul Jannah Allah is well pleased with them as they are well pleased with him. Do the tormented in hell not represent a failure on God's part? Their dismal cries echoing within earshot of paradise for all eternity? O oh Malik, let your Lord put an end to us. Or does it represent God's success? I will surely fill hell with jinn and men all together. Will God feel well pleased? <laughs> Will he feel vindicated? He proved his point. He was right. They were wrong. Has his glorious master plan been achieved? He can now sit back on his throne above the seven heavens. Blessed is the name of your Lord, full of majesty and honour. Tell me honestly, is this an endgame worthy of an infinitely wise and merciful God? <laughs>